So I've been wanting to try and clean my wheels really in depth, you know, really try and get in some of that caked in brake dust all the way off of them. And I'm not just talking about on the face and kind of someone in these corners and stuff like that. What I'm actually talking about is kind of right on the inside as well, really bringing them back to life. So the other week after we had the clutch done as well, and the car went back in because the garage split the CV boot and stuff like that, and the entire inside of that wheel had a load of CV boot grease all shuffed all over it. The garage actually managed to clean that by using some, I'm guessing it was professional grade degreaser or something like that to get it off, and it kind of brought it all the way back to life, which was nice, which was really good. But I've not got that. So what I thought we'd do instead, as I've seen it on social media before, is have a go at using oven cleaner, believe it or not. So to do this, what we're gonna have to do is get the wheel off the car, Get it in, I'm going to give it a good clean of it first with a bucket and sponge and soapy water and stuff like that. And then what we're going to do is spray some of this on, give it a rest. We'll have a read of the instructions, see exactly what it says, leave it for 10 minutes or something like that. And then what we'll do, give it a clean over afterwards and see how we get on. So what we're going to need to do is get the wheel off the car. We'll give it a good clean over first, hot soapy water. Really give it a good clean up with the bucket and sponge and everything like that. And then we'll read the instructions on here, get it sprayed on. Leave it for whatever it says to do, leave it for 10 minutes or something like that, I'm guessing, and then give it a good wipe off and see what the results are and see whether or not oven cleaner to clean your wheels actually works. Okay, so I've chosen the back wheel and I know obviously that's not got as much brake dust on as the front, but that front wheel is in such a bad state of repair. It's so scuffed up on that, that even if we make a really good job of it, it's still not gonna look that good. So we're gonna go with this one for now, for today. It's still got loads of dirt caped on there as well. So I'll, when we get it off in a second, I'll give you a run round on the inside and you can see how dirty it is. So first things first, let's get the wheel off and get it in the garden. Okay, great, so there we go. So now with the wheel off the car, turned over on our little workbench we can see exactly what i'm talking about so it's all of this dirt that i'm looking to try and get off it's not too bad obviously on the inside not too bad at all there but obviously what i'm going to try and do is get it all the way back right to kind of clean not necessarily shiny silver because it's not meant to be too shiny on the inside here but basically get it all the way back to nice and clean and tidy so uh, as much as we can we'll kind of try and do the inside of these bits as well so first things first what i'm going to do is just get a bucket of hot soapy water and we'll give it a good washing over first. Okay, so after working at that with a sponge and hot soapy water for a while, it's actually come up pretty well. Some of the bits inside the spokes, obviously we can see that's come up pretty well as well. But what we can really see is all this really caked in dirt and that's what we're aiming to get off. Little bits at the front as well, obviously where we can see it around here, wherever the valve is there as well, kind of, they're all the, always the difficult bits to clean when you're kind of out in the driveway and we're out on the road cleaning the car and stuff like that. So they're the bits that we're really looking to try and get off. Obviously what we've got as well, for those that aren't familiar with it, is your balancing weights. So obviously when you're driving down the road, if you feel a load of wheel wobble, you need to get your wheels balanced. That's what we've got here. So we need to be mindful that we're not going to compromise them or knock them off. So what I'll do, I'll just take a note, a picture, maybe this video right here, from where the valve is to where they're positioned on the inside and the outside in case anything happens to them. But then also we can see where the old weights used to be as well. So there's still a sticky mess right there as well. So what I might do is just try and give it five minutes to see if I can get some of this stuff off of here as well. Cause there's quite a few areas where it's the same story right down here as well. So I'll, uh, I'll try and get that off. And then what we'll do, we'll get it up on the bench just behind me again. And then we'll uh, look to get this oven to run. Okay, so I've given it a really good clean over. I've given it a good dry off as well, but obviously you can see there's still the bits around these corners that are still dirty, still need to be cleaned, shall we say. The inside, obviously you can see the inside as well there, it's still really caked in dirt and horrible and not very nice at all. So that's the whole purpose of today. So what I'm gonna do, first off, is just get the cleaner. And what I'm gonna do is just try it in one little spot. We're gonna give it a trial area first. It says to leave it no more than 30 minutes when you spray it on. So I'm just gonna leave the first little bit. That's not too bad, just for five minutes as a trial just to make sure it's not going to compromise the lacquer on the wheel or anything like that. I know my wheels are a state, we can see that they're chipped and stuff like that. But for you, if you're trying to do this on your new wheels, at least then you'll know that it's good for it or it doesn't harm it or it's not the right thing to do at all because it's just screwed up my lacquer. But, you know, let's get it on there and let's find out. Okay, so for this oven cleaner that I've got, it says about making sure that you wear gloves and protective eye stuff and stuff like that because it is, uh, it's got caustic soda in it. So basically it's very acidic and not good for your health at all. So make sure if you're gonna use this, if you're gonna do it, make sure it's in a ventilated area. So we're outside today, so, so that's a really good point. It says about switching off electricity. So I think we're good for that one today. Um, so basically whatever one that you're reading, have a good read through, make sure that you're happy with it because it is 
the oven cleaner it's like i say yeah it's, it's dangerous stuff so it says here close the oven door well we've not got an oven but what it does say is don't leave it for any more than 30 minutes like i say so i'm going to make sure that we're going to pop this on just the first little bit here and just leave it for five minutes or so it says beware of splashes and drips and stuff like that so you can see today what i've actually got my setup i've got a couple of workbenches just kind of put together if i come back a little bit there we go just with a little bit of wood and a cardboard box just like when i do the oil changes and stuff like that so when it drips and stuff like that are going to go into the box hopefully and not straight into the grass okay so i've covered up the tire just a little bit as well because i'm not sure what impact it will have on a tire perhaps what i'll try and do is see um, if i can try it out i've actually got a spare tire set in the shed so maybe i'll give it a spray on the tire quickly as well just to make sure that we're not going to compromise the tire but what i'm going to do i've got a clean pair of gloves on as you can see nice and fresh no holes in them so i'm just going to get this i'm just literally going to spray it in this dirty bit here we'll give it five minutes and then we'll give it a wipe off and see what happens okay so while that rests for five minutes i've just got this old spare tire out so what we thought we'd do just give it a bit of a spray on here and just see what impact it has if anything after five minutes so literally just on the rubber and we'll give that well maybe we'll give it 10 minutes to see if it has any impact at all but uh, at least then we'll know whether or not it's gonna be compromising the tires if we spray it onto the tires so that's been a good five minutes now maybe maybe more like six or seven to be fair so what i thought we'd do is just give this a good wipe over i'm just going to use the cloth as it says to kind of on the instructions give it a wipe over with the cloth and we'll see what's happened from if i just kind of move the camera up a little bit we can see it's kind of really that dirt there right in the corner was the stuff that we were looking to try and get off of so hopefully just in this corner here it should come up well so let's give it a wipe Okay, so we can see it's got rid of quite a lot of it. It's not great, it's not fantastic, it's not done as well as I thought it was gonna to do, to be fair. But it's come up pretty well, it's got most of it off. When we look at this one here, we can see that there's still kind of lots of the, the lightness and kind of light diet around it. So it's left with just literally what's kind of really stained in there. So maybe we'll give it, I don't know, one more spray, give it, let it work in a little bit longer or something like that and what i'll do i think i'll do that but i'll do it for the whole lot leave it for however long turn it over uh and then uh, yeah we can do the back side at the same time so it doesn't look like it's doing any harm let's have a look too and see what's happened to the tire here okay so it's been sitting on there for about eight minutes something like that whether that's going to be long enough because when we do the actual wheel up above when we do this just here it's going to be on there for maybe half an hour or so something like that but you know 10 minutes if it's going to have had an impact Hopefully it will have had some sort of impact now. So let's, just as we did up there, give it a wipe off. And it's done a pretty good job of cleaning it. But there is that there. So I don't know whether or not that was actually there before, to be fair. So what I think we're gonna do is try a different bit on the tire somewhere else have a good inspection of it first, make sure there's not any cracks or splits or anything like that. And uh, yeah, we'll give it another test because if that's what it's gonna do, then we're gonna abort. <laughs> but um, all right, okay, step number two, let's go for somewhere over here. I'll have a good look first and make sure there's no splits or cracks or anything. Okay, right, so that's on there in a different spot from where we had this bit here. So we'll give it 10 minutes, a good 10 minutes on there, I reckon. You can see it's just, where is it? Next to the zero, the letter in there, right there. So we'll give it a good 10 minutes. There was no splits or cracks or anything there that I could see. So we'll come back to it. Okay, so while it's resting there for 10 minutes, what I'm gonna do, because the nozzle on the spray is actually pretty directional, I am gonna go for it just on the inside and just get these bits done so that we can give that a good 10 minutes on these as well. Okay, there we go. So you can see how directional it is. I managed to just literally just get spots in there on the worst areas right in those corners. So we'll give that 10 minutes. What I might do just while that's doing that is just turn it over and we'll kind of do a big test patch right on the inside. You never know, I might get carried away and just do it all anyway. Okay, great. So with the wheel turned over, we can see obviously where it's run down a little bit, just where I sprayed them first little bits. I did spray right through just for that one bit there, but I'm going to get a good coat on here and you know, we'll see what happens. I should be able to avoid the tire from here. Maybe what I do actually is just put the cloth just over the top of the tire while I'm spraying it just to avoid any overspray. But uh, you know, we'll see. I'm hoping that that bit test bit that we did on the tire down on the floor was just, uh, yeah, it already had the split in it, but we'll find out. Okay, 
Okay, so back over here at the wheel. It's now been 19 minutes since we sprayed this on. So longer than I was gonna leave it, but you know, I thought if we're gonna do a test, why not? You can see, I don't know if you can see, kind of the color around the edges of the bubbles where it's gone on, that it looks kind of browny, a bit dirty, whether it's just where it's putting the dirt up out the wheel or whether it's actually impacting the rubber. Let's find out. So we'll give it a wipe off. This is what the instructions on the can say to wipe it off, not to kind of wash it off or anything like that. So wiping it off. So it looks very clean. And what have we got? What can we see? So it doesn't look like there's any of those splits that we had in the other bit, wherever it was there. So I'm guessing that was probably already there. But looking at it, I mean, you can see how clean it looks, it looks great. So does it impact your tires? Well, it's certainly not impacted this one. Okay, so it's been a good 15 minutes now that this has been sitting on here. So it's going pretty well. What I've done, just around the edge, I did just use a sponge with a bit of extra oven spray on it just to go around because I didn't, before we got the results of the tire down on the floor, I didn't want to kind of get any overspray on the tire. So I've just gone around with that sponge, just this one here, just literally just going around in the edges like that, giving it a good rub over. A couple of bits here as well, where the tape was from the balancing weights. I just tried to go over that again as well. But um, yeah, the oven cleaner doesn't seem to have compromised that stickiness either. So unfortunately, that's what I was hoping that it might be able to do, help us lift that up, but it's not done that either. So I know it's corrosive, but um, we'll see exactly how corrosive it is. We'll give it another, what have we got? 10, 15 minutes or so, something like that, like it says on the can, no longer than 30 minutes. Let it really soak in, let it really do its thing. And uh, yeah, give it a wipe off. Okay, so it's been nearly half an hour now. So let's get the cloth and let's get this rubbed off. Okay, so it's coming off not too badly, to be fair. Obviously you can see here where I've worked it a little bit more as well. But I am finding that right in the corners, it is really leaving kind of like we did on the first test run, a kind of dark, Bit that's kind of really caked in right at the bottom of it so what i'm doing is just using this kind of kitchen washing up cloth it's not a brillo pad obviously it's only soft plastic well, i don't know what it's made of i'm guessing it's plastic of some description but just using that just to go over just in them worst bits just to really work it in and that's actually really doing a good job it says on the can no scrubbing required but i beg to differ okay so now for the inside we can see what we've got just rubbing it doesn't look like it's coming off that that well so what i'm going to do is go against what the instructions say i know some of you are probably going you shouldn't be using that on your paint it's the inside of the wheel i know i used it on the outside of the wheel but the paint's a lot harder on the wheel so it's not scratching it too much for me i know i've got a refurb marbles regardless anyway but i'm happy to be using this and we'll see what the results are afterwards but let's get this on here give it a good go and see what the results are Well, I think we can see it's coming off okay. So I'll carry on and get all the way around and then we'll have a look. Okay, so there we go. So it's all rubbed down. We've wiped it all off. We did go over it, the whole thing, with a little scrubbing brush as well. Not too hard, like I say, not too abrasive or anything. But it's actually come up not too bad. Is it brilliant? No, not at all. But it's actually done an all right job. You know, I'm pretty happy with it for what it was, the state of it that it was on there. Looking at the front of it too, you know, we can see this actually come up pretty well in these little areas where it's always tough to get into. Just using that kind of kitchen cloth, it's come through really, really well. So I'm pretty pleased with that. There are still, I don't know if it's probably coming out on camera or not, kind of a few spots on there that would benefit from a little bit more elbow grease perhaps. But in essence, it's not too bad. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna give it a quick wash over just with a bucket and sponge, just to get any last remaining kind of oven clean stuff off of it. Then we'll give the tire a quick dress and get it back on the car. Okay, great. So we've dressed the tire now while it's off the car. I think just before we put it on, what we'll do, we'll just get a bit of fresh cobble grease just on the hub here. Okay, 
Okay, so there we go. So now looking at the finished product, it looks so much better, it looks so much nicer, a whole lot cleaner, all those bits. You know, looking through, we can see, obviously, we can see our balancing weights there, but the actual rim inside <laughs> looks nice and clean. It just makes a whole lot of difference. We've gone to the effort with the calipers, you know, we've gone to the effort of cleaning up, we've gone to the effort of doing the white walling and the dressing the tires. So, you know, why not make sure that the wheel is as clean as it possibly can be? So those using oven cleaners to clean your wheels work? Yes. Does it work as well as you think it might do? Probably not. You still need to put in a fair bit amount of effort to kind of really, you know, get the, the worst of it off, scrubbing it and getting right into the little intricate detail bits and stuff like that. But, you know, I think you can see for yourself it's done a good enough job. I'm happy to do it again, probably at some point in time. Obviously, when it comes to doing the other wheels, <laughs> that wheel we're not going to bother with. That's the wheel that we're going to do the refurb on. So that's going to be kind of a whole rubbing it down, sandpaper and stuff like that to get the top lacquer layer off and we need to fill it and all sorts of stuff so that one's going to be a completely different story but certainly for now for this one the other one at the back i think i'm going to persevere and uh i'm not persevere i think i'm just going to get on and and do it soon at some time obviously we need to do the other calipers as well yet so we can really finish the look of the car so for now hopefully that's been useful if you've enjoyed it give us a like down below if you haven't done so yet give us a subscribe coming up here now like i always say you know the more likes more subscribers more everything that i get on it the more videos I'm going to keep making. If you haven't done so already, if you're watching on a laptop, go down below, you see a super thanks on there as well. Give us a super thanks. Help me pay for some of these bits and pieces that I keep spending money on. But for now, thanks very much. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.